I think Gene was so happy that Roger found his mate. He was 50 years old when we got married. He used to tell me, I waited just about all my life to find you, and I'm glad I did, and I'm never going to let you go. I mean... Chaz Ebert is an attorney, an entrepreneur, publisher, author, she producer. Yeah. She keeps the legacy of her late husband, the Pulitzer Prize-winning film critic Roger Ebert, alive by highlighting important voices in film and supporting young emerging artists. It's a special uh, event that's coming up that we're going to tell you about in a minute. As we welcome my longtime pal Chaz Ebert to the show via Zoom this morning. Hello there, my friend. Hi, Dean. Hello. It's great to see you. I, and mi I miss you so much because we would see each other at movie screenings all the time now, which yes, don't exist. I, I miss that. Yeah, I haven't seen you in person, uh, you know, for over a year. How, how have you been doing during the pandemic? I mean, you're a vital, busy person being quarantined, I would imagine, was difficult for you. You know, you find the silver linings. I try to make the best of it. And um, one of the things that we're doing, we try to think about how can we help young people who were going through such stressful situations in 2020. And this No Malice Film Contest is actually one way to do that. Tell us a little about that, of how people can uh, view it, participate. How, uh, give me a little uh, of the details on this. Okay, we're doing it in conjunction with the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library Foundation. And we have a contest for Illinois residents ages 11 to 21. So it's uh, youth and young adults. We are asking them to make a short film anywhere shorter than seven minutes about racial healing. Okay. And to uh, their cash prizes for these films, okay. they can win anywhere from five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. So we have a first, a second, and a third prize in three age categories: eleven to fourteen, fifteen to nineteen, and nineteen to twenty-one. Okay, we've got we've got information that we're going to put up on the screen in a minute of how people can uh, enter the No Malice Film Contest. Uh, just a couple of things before we run out of time, Chaz, that I wanted to talk to you about. I was just looking through my own calendar and realized that yesterday was the anniversary, the eighth anniversary of uh, when Roger passed away. And I, I couldn't help but remember, it, it was a year or two before that, that you and Roger invited me to your house to yes. come and interview Roger. And we, we just had the, the nicest time talking and laughing and uh, how, how do you reflect on that? How do you think Roger would be dealing with, uh, you know, the fact that uh, we can't go into theaters and all that's happened uh, in the past year? You know, Dean, I think about that, and I wonder what would he do? How would he handle it? I know one of the things that he would be doing now is probably working on a plan to get more people back in theaters because he loves seeing films in theaters. Of course, be, seeing them at home is also was a, a democratic way to see them. But, you know, there are some films that are coming up, like Godzilla, that you don't want to see at home. You want to see in a big theater. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, though, that I, I think he would also do is he would encourage people to get out of their comfort zone, especially because, you know, we've gone through you know, with the, with the killing of George Floyd, you know, sort of racial uh, um, awareness. And he would want people to be more empathetic to each other, to be kinder and more compassionate. And I think he would be emphasizing films about, about that, about what I call the FECT principles, yeah. forgiveness, empathy, compassion, and kindness. Yeah, these are I mean, very much the kinds of films that... Uh, had always been featured at Ebert Fest, which was canceled last year. What uh, normally Ebert Fest would take place in April, but I, I believe it's been pushed back until the fall this year. Is that right? Yes. You know what? We didn't want to have a remote Ebert Fest, so we put it 
The new dates are September 8th to 11th, so that we can welcome everybody into the auditorium. And, um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do with this film contest, we're going to show the winning films at Ebert Fest. Oh, so great. we're going to have a red carpet debut for the winners of this film contest. And, um, and can I tell you one thing about your nine at nine? Yes. I love it. yes. And I, I am going to go to Iceland because of what I saw on right? your yeah. nine at nine. <laughs> Thank you. How could I not? I am with you, Chaz. That was a catchy tune. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> you, it's so, in so many ways, yeah. <laughs> it's so good to see you, Chaz. Thank every, you. Every time that I would see Chaz at a screening, she would tell me about some crazy thing that happened on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that day. Uh, the, I, I actually do watch you guys, and uh, <laughs> even when I'm in another country, I didn't realize that WGN had such a wide a, a breadth of, um, I've seen it when I was in Los Angeles, <laughs> I was in another country, and actually one time you had something where the, the electricity went out and you were putting up signs yeah. and yeah. I saw that in either <laughs> France or Italy. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. international. We're forcing ourselves in people's homes around the world. <laughs> Very popular oh, in the oh, you know former what? Soviet I forgot, Union. I, I have to tell you, this yeah. is really important. <laughs> yeah. You have an exclusive. We are expanding our No Malice Film Contest Today we're announcing that we're expanding it from the end of April to the end of May so that more young people can enter their films because we because of COVID, uh, we don't know whether the uh, the place that we were going to use for the red carpet debut will be available in July. So we extended it by a month so that we can do this. So WGN gets the first uh, exclusive on extending the No Malice Film Contest Very good. for the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library Foundation. And we've got a link of how you can enter the contest up at WGNTV.com. Chaz Ebert, look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you so Thanks, much. Chaz. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.